So Diamond's ex-boyfriend name is Pimpin. And all I could think about was... Don't oh, hold up, Slickback. No, that's a pimp name, Slickback. That's what I said, Slickback. No, no, it's a pimp named Slickback. Like a tribe called Quest. You say the whole thing. A pimp named Slickback. Hi guys, you're in Lady Girl from Run Away. We have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I am back with a growing up atlanta review okay y'all this is season i don't really know episode two and let me just say this yes i'm watching growing up atlanta because i want to see what was going on with the brat okay like everybody else i wanted to see i wanted to know what's tea and i watched um episode one but of course something happened to my footage um if this is your first video here i don't know what happened to all my footage but you know what it is what it is my footage got deleted for the bachelor review too child so we're just here let's get right into it so this episode kicks off with deb and the brat sitting down and um they're pretty much just discussing you know the brat coming out the closet child with um jessica dupont aka big booty judy and you know deb is like yeah you glowing and brad's like girl i've been glowing she's like no but you really going you like bumping coochies going and they you know kiki over that they discuss their weight gain child these celebrities and this weight gain giving me very much fat phobia hate to see it deb lets um the brat know that she's having luncheon at the lake where you know they're pretty much just going to discuss her political views um <laughs> yeah a mess i guess she just wants to come out as a fake trump supporter which is so corny um i think it's funny that this episode is actually airing now at the wake of the insurrection on capitol hill with them white walkers and it's just so crazy what people do to for a storyline it's giving me very much if doing too much was a storyline the brat talks with deb about johnny and she lets her know yeah i'm not managing her anymore we're not doing music together but yeah she is around and the brat is in her confessional pretty much just saying i hate the way that johnny treats deb and you know i hope she is not you know barking up the wrong tree with this girl because we all know that johnny can be toxic af deb is joking around talking about some you know the brat just pretty much lets her know i'm not coming to the to the luncheon because i'm taking COVID very seriously and you know deb was like well no matter what don't get the vaccine <laughs> And, you know, she also said, you know, when they swab you, they, they enter in the, the microchip into your nose. And Deb, you know what? I like her for the reason that a lot of people think that same way. Like, a lot of y'all aunties think that the microchip is being placed if you get swabbed for the C word test. In the next scene, we have Bow Wow and his mom. And they sit down. And, and let me just say this. Bow Wow's mom looks good. Okay? She looks good. She looks like she's keeping herself up. And if she is getting full toxic filler, she's keeping them at a minimum. Unlike other people's mothers. I didn't like is the fact that, Bow Wow, you were just in Miami, you know, potentially contracting covid now you swung out all up in your mama's face like sir get it together these celebrities are so reckless it's just off-putting bow wow sitting down pretty much explaining these album concepts with his mother's child i'm like a, another album like we ain't seen an album a good album by the way from you in years sir and he just pretty much explains that he wants this album to be called letter to my exes mom is just like oh who what you what you gonna name songs keisha cole angela i'm like damn look at the mom name dropping no shame in her game she's making tv and then i just thought about it so he, the concept is she's gonna write each song to each girl and then it's gonna be a list and it's like it's gonna be so surprising to see how many girls is gonna be on this album the mom's like oh is it gonna be a 60 song album he's like no we're gonna talk about nine like you know some of that some of the major major hitters or some of the heavy hitters and i'm just like mm, maybe you should call the album kiss and tell or maybe like let me borrow some of that clout back because a lot of the chicks are not claiming bow wow anymore like girl any of the girls that hit bow wow um outside of evidence case in point joy with you know with their beautiful daughter shy they're not really checking for bow wow no more and a lot of those chicks like he is really mentioning their name you don't see it the other way around anymore so very very annoying like have you ever heard of a word called cringe mom is still name dropping so she's like is johnny blaze gonna get a song like girl she is stirring up the pot and he sees to, and then bow i was like no he's like well you did say a stripper and he's talking about so i'm talking about heavy hitter strippers i'm talking about used to be a stripper now hit the jackpot i'm talking about black china i mean people gonna be so surprised by all just i done hit like 
Bow Wow has the scarlet letter of corny. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. Not really. The mom is smart though, because she's like, well, don't be playing the album for your yes men and the girls that you got on your yacht. And he was just like, no, well, you know, they playing. It was like, well, they on your yacht, aren't they? They ain't really, you know, going to give you the real. You can tell the mom has really been in the industry. Love to see it. Talking about something, this is going to be his last album. I pray to God it is. And I hope this is the last time we're hearing about it. Let's talk and more doing. Next scene, we have Johnny Blaze and Deb, and they're having their sit down. And Johnny's a beautiful girl. She seems like she's in a good headspace. And although she still has her resin veneers um she looks like she's in a good space okay she's talking she's standing upright back straight titties perched she looks good she seems a little forced though with yeah i'm fine you know i'm just trying you know like girl just be yourself you don't have to talk in that way or do whatever for you to seem like you're doing well just be yourself she gives me very much um ayana fix my life it's so fortunate that she's no longer going to be on that show because i would have loved to see that episode because girlfriend got some real deep rooted issues Eb is like you know you have no more get out of jail cards with me get out of jail free cards and i'm like a mother figure to you but my love is conditional so you got to act this way that pushes people into a box she also says i'm going to invite you to a luncheon but the ladies at the luncheon all know how you've been acting so don't act the fool at this luncheon and you know you can see her mind is kind of racing a little bit like why are you giving this girl so much anyway to deal with knowing that she deals with anxiety like i understand you have to have that fine line with accountability and then like not being a trigger to a person that suffers from mental health it's a lot girl it's a lot angela's having a photo shoot she looks good she's thick we all love to see it i was by was pissed off that she didn't check in when she came to atlanta because she saw him in miami with a whole bunch of butts in his face she wasn't beat bow wow meets with jd's daughter and apparently she's going to medical school she's a beautiful girl she bow wow lets her know that ayana has um covid she gets emotional because her grandma just had covid and was on a ventilator and she bounced back so it was just a lot they go into um angela's photo shoot she's working and bow wow's funny he's like yeah you got your mom jugs all out before you used to be like why are you dealing with chicks like that now every other day you got your boobs out your butt out and um you know the angela and bow wow chemistry is the same deb is calling johnny to no avail the day of her luncheon and she can't get in contact with her and she's like i'm really concerned about her because she always answered no matter what and um you know lo and behold she is having a panic attack she sends a producer over there she calls the cops to send um you know for a welfare check and deb is a person who does it the right way and who really really has love for johnny blaze they have a they show johnny in the bed saying that she can't do it and you know the producers are like do you have a plan or you know to hurt yourself or whatever the case i don't like the fact that they actually filmed it like why are y'all filming this girl she is really really struggling um i work in the social work field in the human service field in general and i do not take mental health lightly um if you know anybody who has any type of suicide ideations i am going to leave some information for you to check out in the description box um suicide talk and suicide prevention is a situation that we can all take part in don't take shit for granted y'all be serious and um yeah i don't like that they filmed that they could have easily just put up some information and really give some information if you know somebody who has suicidal ideas or ideations and they did not do that very very um irresponsible we tv do better and wasn't y'all playing around with tamar too mm, i don't like it no bueno bow wow and angela have their sit down they're taking some energy shot uh energy shots and she's like wasn't you just in miami take a shot you could take this little bitty shot and um they have a cute chemistry bow wow's really acting on the show y'all know he is a real actor and bow wow acting skills are for real the, the he's the one that's carrying the show because um diamond and her acting skills Hello? Oh my god. Girl. They pretty much just say, girl, we ride or die. We're gonna hold each other down. We love each other. Like it's been 18 years. We got it. Y'all good friends. We get it. Diamond ends up calling her her ex-boyfriend Pimpin, who lives in the same apartment complex as Johnny Blaze, and they're over there, whatever the case. It was just like added drama, added TV, and added drama to this girl's real life. Again, I don't like it. People are really out here suffering. And I understand that people need representation, but it's triggering to some people and i don't like that y'all i don't like that am i tripping leave a comment down below let me know if i'm tripping or do y'all feel me over here like safe space remember safe space for cultural conversations and the mental health piece is so overlooked in our community y'all take it seriously i'm gonna move on because i can feel a, a rant coming on and that's this is not this video deb is pretty much just saying like you know i knew something was going on with her i'm so glad she got checked out and you know she said that her son um you know committed suicide and he didn't take 
he didn't take it or she didn't take it seriously and that's why she's taking it serious now and she loves Johnny she would never let Johnny um be alone and I understand that completely you don't know what it's like to have somebody take their life and you always wonder what could I have done differently so I can see her being a real um force of stabilization for Johnny in her life but we're not going to sit up here and play like Deb didn't have a child's mask on her big ass face move right along um, so the ladies arrive and, you know, everybody looks good. R. Kelly's wife, she always serves body, 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 okay? And she's an old head. She keeps it, she's keeping it all the way cute and tight and ripped and right. Um, love to see it. Um, and they all show up and they're pretty much just talking about COVID. And then when COVID talks about, oh, Lily is there from, um, SWV. Lily off the hook too. She is, um, t off the hook. They talk, they have a nice little cheers. They talk, talking about Ayana. She has COVID. Then they start talking about Trump. And they leave it there, but, you know, that's a segue into Deb giving her fake storyline about how she's a Trump supporter. But it may not even be fake because a lot of people, black people, before this Capitol Hill stuff, liked Trump because there's something very familiar about Trump. He's like the drunk uncle at the barbecue. It's like, this nigga crazy. But I like him. Um, something very niggardly about Trump that it just rubs black people the right way. Some black people. Anyway, y'all, I will be tuning in to Growing Up hip hop atlanta child we're gonna get into it let me know what you guys think of this review give me a thumbs up and let youtube know it's for real and subscribe share if you care for real for real i'd really appreciate it as always i'm sending you much love and much like and i will see you in the next video peace slip back no, no, slip back no, no,